wanted to ask you about some kind of like TV stuff, really, because uh, I mean, it looked like 2006 was a pretty massive year for the band. And I saw the soundtrack to Kate Moss advert. Was that oh, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rock and Roll Queen was used on a Kate, well, it was on a, yeah, Kate Moss Rimmel advert, which is very strange, isn't it? Like, it's <laughs> just a, yeah, an amazing thing, but just like a, yeah, just like, just bizarre to see your song used in 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 that way um it's not something you ever expect is going to happen um but yeah that that was that was pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i think same year you ended up being on an episode of the rc and i just wanted to ask you about this because like i watched that program well quite a few has watched it like religiously at the time yeah i was one of them i loved it <laughs> still, do, still love it could probably watch that again actually yeah, no, be yeah. a good, good lockdown thing to do <laughs> yeah i think it's one of like the most nostalgic things i could watch i reckon <laughs> yeah uh, especially with all the music they had on what was that experience like like i don't know it kind of seemed at the time when i was a kid it seemed so far removed from where we were i think that's maybe like what the appeal was for watching it like yeah what was it like being involved in that and did you meet the cast and everything um we did get to get to meet some of the cast um which was really cool we got to meet um Rachel Bilson and Misha Barton, who I just thought were like the coolest people ever. And that was just like, was so starstruck getting to meet them. Um, and we were there for the whole day. So we, um, they let us like sit behind like juggle the director's chairs and stuff and let us just sit and watch the scene coming together, which that was the best bit really, just to see how something is filmed and just to watch what happens with that. That was amazing. Um, and just such a great opportunity because, like you're saying, the, the soundtrack for that um, TV series is um, is is one of the is one of the things that's talked about a lot for it. Um, and there were so many amazing bands like Def Cab for Cutie and Killers and I don't know, loads, loads and loads and loads that I'm forgetting. Um, and so to be part of that was was yeah, just such an honour. And I think at the time we just couldn't quite believe that it was happening, but. Yeah, that again, that's one of the things which I just look back and just so grateful for and just think we were very lucky people to do things like that. Well, how did it work like, on the day? Like, were you playing live or were you just kind of doing it to a backing track for hours on end? Or so, uh, yeah, so it was because the actors are talking in it to hear their lines. We had the song um, in headphones. So we had headphones on. And we could hear the song so that we were moving around and singing or whatever in time, like we were miming. Um, and then they were, were like delivering their lines. So that that was pretty weird because we're just like stomping around on the stage, which must have sounded really loud. Um, and then they're like delivering, yeah, they're, they're, they're performing their lines. So yeah, that was quite <laughs> weird. <laughs> I think I remember thinking that at the time, like there'd be a band playing and they'd just be having a chat in the middle of uh, the audience. Like yeah a normal level <laughs> yeah yeah not not even like whispering in each other's ears as you or shouting in each other's ears you have to do at gigs they're just like, <laughs> yeah. still a meter apart aren't they <laughs> yeah. 